and he pushed the door open, and it was like black cotton candy down to about two feet off the ground. And he said, jump in. And I said, okay. So I jumped in, and he says, do you feel the heat? I said, yeah. I see, so he said, where's it at? I says, it's right over here on the right side of my face. He said, let's go that way. So we crawled that way. And I said, should I turn on the hose? He said, no, not yet. And I heard all this smashing. This giant Polish fellow jumped over our back and smashed all the dining room windows out and pulled down the drapes. Hmm. And uh, there was a red dot in front of me right up near the ceiling. And the more windows I heard smashing and the more thumping I heard on the roof, the smoke lifted a little bit, and that red dot got more and more orange. I said, should I open up the pipe yet? He said, no, not yet. And this is your officer? that you... No, he was just another fireman. Okay. Wally Lynch, he was one of the greats. <laughs> so, And he laid on my back. Wally wasn't circumcised. I can tell you that because his pecker was right on the cheek of my face. <laughs> And I could feel it. <laughs> In any event, though, but but as warm as could be, looked like the Gordon's fisherman, big nose and a head of gray hair, but a wonderful, wonderful man who took me through this. And his his arm was on my back, and his face was right next to me. He said, "It's just a little bit farther, kid." And we crawled a little bit farther, and now the flames coming out through the doorway. And I said, should I turn on the pipe yet? He says, not until we make the turn, kid. We made the turn, whipped the fire, the line around the ceiling, and right in front of me there was a white light. And it, uh, I said, uh, what's that? He says, now, he says, after you whip it around for about two minutes, he said, I want you to shoot it out the window and put it on fog. And as soon as I did, my ears got cool because it was blowing all the smoke and heat right out the window. That was that white light that I was looking at. Anyway, afterwards, there was four little puppies in a drawer, and he picked one up and put it in my pocket, and he said, that was your first rescue. <laughs>